folks. Thought I add that in again because in the video you're about to see it's a little bit cut off. My mistake next time, uh, no sacrificing uh, wearing headphones to put on a flower crown. Must find a way to uh, put on both. All right. Enjoy my uh, birthday haul. Bye. Uh, well, not bye. See you in a moment. Folks, welcome to a huge comic slash manga birthday haul. Now, uh, you will see this video on my actual birthday. I'm just uh, filming it in advance. And uh, hopefully another thing you'll see that day, uh, this Thursday, which uh, for you will be today, is that I'm going to have a live stream, a birthday live stream with Mr. Gray. It'll be um, earlier than when we do cover slingers, so if any of you watch that, you, you might know when that is. I really need to get my time zones uh, together. But yes, it'll be a birthday, uh, a birthday live stream. I will uh, tell you about a new giveaway I'm going to have. And me and Mr. Gray will do some fun and silly things. So if you'd like to join us, uh, I'd be happy to have you. And plus, Mr. Gray will be there. That's always great. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's always great amazing. Alright, so now we have a shit ton of comics. As uh, I've accumulated a lot of them. Um, I think I was so in, you know, my birthday was coming. I thought oh, I'll get this and that. And giant haul, basically. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff in here. Quite a lot of stuff that I don't know even what to start with. Um, well, I also have a book haul, but you'll see that later. Not, uh, not in this video. Uh, you know, let's start with the, uh, the only manga, actually, that I have, and that is... Uh, Alita! Alita Battle Angel Volume 2! Finally, after all this time since I bought Volume 1, I finally got myself Volume 2 of Alita. Actually, I want to get the whole, uh, the whole series to read it. And look, she's uh, on the cover, she's playing that game that was in the movie. Now, I haven't read the full series, so I don't know how much of what was in the manga they put in the movie. And if they combined. Because sometimes they just, if it's a series, they just combine stuff together. Maybe you can hear me, by the way. Can't uh, put the headphones on and this together. It just doesn't go. Oh, that's... Yeah, so she, and she's playing that game that was in the movie. So it looks like they might have to, uh, took from a few of the, um, and not from a few. They, they took from, they took probably a few mangas and combined, or maybe just the first two. I don't know. But in here you can see the game that she was uh, playing in the movie. And there we go, the 99. Yes, I had no idea how much was, uh, you know, just from the mangas and how much they just changed, uh, to fit a movie. Well, I'm about to find out. Well, first, I'm still on Akira, so that'll take a little while. But yeah, there it is, more of my Alita. Uh, this is the deluxe edition, where it's got two in one. They're more expensive, but also, there's more here. There's like two stories, so I guess it's more worthwhile to buy them than to just buy, oops, the, uh, 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 the paperback ones. Uh, one moment. Last interruption. I really have been filming for a few minutes, and I didn't notice it wasn't on. Oops. So I, I definitely showed you Alita before I disappeared, so now I'll show you again the stuff uh, before. And I'll have to repeat myself. Alright, so next thing I got is Something is Killing the Children by Boom Studios. Uh, Alita's by that, um, eh, you know, never mind, I, I'll show it again later in another video. So something is killing the children. A funny story, I, I didn't buy this one. Simon did a, a comic haul, of simple Simon did a comic haul a few weeks back, and he said that if you brought the um, foil edition of Second Issue of Berserker with you to the shop, you could uh, get uh, this for free. An issue of something is killing the children. And he did ask, you know, is it the same for you? So... I just wanted to ask Kamikaze if they also did that, because well, a lot of the stuff they do in the U.S. they don't do here with comics. 
And they say, well, since you asked, we'll give you one. <laughs> so now I have a copy. Which is really cool, because I, uh, I wanted to read this. See uh, if I like it or not. I'm not even actually sure what the story's about. I mean, you'd think with such a name, you'd figure out something is killing children. But still, it doesn't necessarily mean, does it? Well, I'm excited to find out. See what the... Uh, well, yeah, I suppose it has been... Has it been hyped? I don't know, but I want to see what it's about. Uh, I know this is Captain Sarah's favorite character. Sarah loves her a lot. So, I will uh, find out. I do like her giant chainsaw, though. That's cool. Oops. Shit. Going to have another interruption. I lied. Hopefully I won't lie, and that was the last interruption. We had a comic fall. Alright, next we have uh, The Death of Superman by DC. <laughs> and this is the trade paperback of uh, the entire story. Which is really cool. I saw this, I uh, was uh, browsing Comic Cause's uh, Facebook page. And I saw that they were selling uh, copy second-hand copies of old, um, I don't know if it was old DC stories, but uh, trade paperbacks of uh, well-known stories, and I saw this, and I asked, do you still have this? They didn't have a second-hand one, but they had a new one, so I bought it, and <laughs> now I can read this. It's actually a story I did, uh, I did want to read. And I wish they did more trade paperbacks of old stories. That way, uh, people like me who can't get uh, single issues could at least read it. No, I mean, I don't want a huge uh, single issue collection, but I do want to read some of these. So yeah, now I have it. And then we noticed there were people in the background of the uh, Superman's cape there. I know there's several covers though. The next thing I got is Lock and Key. By uh, Joe Hill. And, I mean, Joe Hill wrote this. Stephen King's son. This is by IDW. I know it's got to do with horrors. And I mean, welcome to Lovecraft. I'm currently reading Lovecraft. I already read quite a few stories. So it'll be interesting if it has the same uh, creepy vibe or not. Or if it... Uh, not will be as effective. I did almost get this... Um, a year, almost two years ago. I hope you can hear me. Almost two years ago, but the, the art style put me off the first time. It's just not really the, the sort of style I like, but still, I do want to find out what the story is about since I got a, I got a comic that's pretty recent with, um, uh, I think the characters from here, something like that. I don't know, it's the Sandman's universe. Well, we'll find out. Alright, let's go to the single issue, so this won't be too long. Next, I got uh, Zoro. Oh, that's the one that fell. Ah, fuckers. Oh, well. And it's by American Mythology Productions. And this is um, a, a reprint. A th yeah, a reprint, I think, of uh, Zoro. Yeah, it's, it's a reprint, because it's got modern uh, ads. Yes, yeah, so it's a reprint of it. I re yeah, not facsimile, reprint. Of Zorro. <laughs> I saw Zorro, it's like, ooh, cool, I can read the, the first Zorro. That's quite exciting. And, uh, well, my only chance to, to read this is it. The art inside the, doesn't look how bad. I quite like the, the story of Zoro. I, I like the movie with, um, um, the, um, the actor who played the dad in Spy Kids. He played him in the, is his name Antonio? I, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna say. Next, I got, uh, the uh, second part. Right, the second and last part of uh, Kanto and the City of Giants. No, wait. Are there three parts or two? No, I think there's three parts, maybe. But anyway, either the, the, the last part or the second part. There's Kanto and there's the witch. Oh, that's a really cool cover. 
about to enter a maze. I remember this is like the last one. I think it's it's going to be a very really short story. But yay, more Kento, we'll see what happens. Next, I got Berserker. Uh, issue two. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at uh, look at our character and all the weapons. I call him Keanu in my video because yeah, it looks exactly like Keanu Reeves. But he doesn't actually have a name. Not in the first issue. They don't. They don't give him a name. I wonder if he'll get his name. I look forward to reading this when I get to it. I got so much stuff to read. All right. And that was uh, by Boom Studios as well. Next, we got uh, uh, all right, it's upside down. The Good Asian by Image Comics. This is a, a noir detective, which is why I got it. I love detective stories. I don't remember what time period this happens though, in. but I think noir has a distinctive time period, doesn't it? I think so. But yeah, looks like this will be uh, interesting. Look forward to uh, reading it. It's a pretty neat cover. Oh, he has a oh, he has a scar. I really noticed that in the uh, uh, what's the website previews. Yeah, inside's pretty good. Oh, any names I know? Nope, not one name. Roshak issue uh issue eight issue eight you know I'm gonna end up uh, reading the, the, the Watchmen whatever happens happens but it'll be hilarious if I end up not liking it and then I collected this entire series for nothing <laughs> I actually think maybe I should just cut it off and not get it anymore. Just leave these eight issues, because I don't know if I'll even like it. Or hell, I might end up loving Watchmen or liking it. And I'll read this, and I'll say, oh, this is not the best. And I'll be stuck with issues of it that I don't know what I'll do with. I must say, though, the cover quality is excellent. Very thick. But yeah. Oh, well, I guess I'll find out when I get to it. Some, I guess, interesting covers. That's the least I could say. Alright, next we have, uh, this seemed interesting and weird. Uh, Mo uh Red Room by Ed Peace Corps. The R's Antisocial Network. Uh, so it's, a, it's a bunch of weird stories, I think. Self, so, yeah, it's a huge one. I wasn't sure if to get this or not. I went and looked at the preview pages, it looked like it was going to have a bunch of uh, creepy stories. So I thought, hey, this seems right up my alley. I love some fucked up stories. Oh. I hope you didn't see the back when I was there. I don't know what to do with this. Oh, well, the back's not YouTube friendly, I didn't even notice that. I think I am gonna like this. I can't show you the back now. And if you saw it, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah, look at the lady in the, um... Weird... Uh... Cultish BDSM... Furry outfit. Uh, I mean... Yeah, it's got fur. Ah! Oh, that must be uh, one of Pennywise's cousins. Right there. That is something. Well, I'll see how it is. I didn't, um, I, I, I didn't subscribe to this. I don't, I think it's supposed to have more. I just wanted to see one issue. See if it's, uh, any interesting. Outlaw Comics, approved by cartoonist K. Keyfabe. Interesting. What company is this? I don't know. It's gotta be either... I think it might be this little symbol here. Fant... Fant... Ugh. Oh, well, never mind. If I end up talking about this, I'll, uh... I'll research it. 
Right, not showing you the... But man, that back, look at that! Some fucked up things going on in here, eh? Hmm. Yes, this is the one where they make sure that the back's covered. Because the front's normal. Well, as normal as you can get. I suppose. Alright, and last, but by no means least. I got the... The last road in issue three. I have two. Yes, I, I do. I have a comics I've been piling up. Ooh, look! It's a... It's a homage to Superman. To the death of Superman, right? Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? It's like the pole here, the two buildings, right? Wait. Just a second, let me... Let me pull that. Yeah, it's a, it's a homage, holy shit. Yeah, check that! <laughs> That's really cool, it's a homage. I mean, yeah, right? It's very similar, though, isn't it? And maybe I'm wrong, but it's just, uh... The whole atmosphere is quite similar. <laughs> cool. If it is, eh, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not, not at all a homage. But anyway. <laughs> oh, man, that's Casey's mask. Oh, Casey. That is really cool, though. Really, really cool. I don't know what bags uh, collectors put these in. Actually, I should look inside because I haven't read the second issue yet. I don't know what happens. Ah oh, man, you know I had a video about the first issue, but it was on a, a different uh, editing program and it got fucked. Which is a shame. Because I quite like the video I made. Oh well, maybe I'll make a new one. Alright folks, so that is it. That's the super yeah, big hole. Uh, I I might get some more comics if I already make a different haul for the for those ones because it's already a pretty long video. Oh yeah, very long video. There are uh, actually two books I got from Comic Cosm. If you want to see those, tune into my book haul. Hopefully you heard me well. I didn't put on the headphones because uh, the crown and headphones together wouldn't go. I'll have to it's fine to work for the stream, I might have to give up that idea. Oh no, I'll think of something. Alright, so that is it. I hope to see you in my stream today. But I hope it'll actually be. And hopefully we'll have fun. Mr. Gray will be there, so you know at least it'll be funny. Alright folks, thank you for watching. Remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye!